Okay, so this is a tutorial on using an Arduino with Touch Designer. Uh, the wiki is fairly straightforward if you understand, have enough of an understanding of the Arduino and Touch Designer and, you know, computer science and all of that. But if you don't, then it might not be quite straightforward. And I just wanted to do a tutorial um, on the basics of sending data to Touch Designer from your Arduino, as you can see here, and do the next one on receiving data um, on the Arduino from Touch Designer. These are two very basic, uh, very basic things to do with Touch Designer and with the Arduino, but they are the building blocks for the next, like for everything else. So I figured, um, I'd help you guys get on your way. This is the most basic, and then we'll see. Maybe I'll do more tutorials if this one goes well. On like what you can, where you can go from here. Okay, so let's get started. So I really just want to go all the way through the the wiki with you. So the first thing we're going to do is send data from the Arduino to Touch Designer. Set up a, an output serial output on Touch Designer to read the output from the Arduino that's coming from the Arduino. So that's what we're going to set up here. That's They have already have this script here. So we're basically, all we're going to do, I'm going to start from scratch with you. Um, we're going to copy this. Oh, and I should say first actually that I am not going to go over installing Arduino. I'm not going to go over installing Touch Designer or how to use it. Like you should already have uh, a basic understanding of how to open Touch Designer and how to open the Arduino, how to connect your Arduino to the computer, and how to upload scripts to it. <laughs> Copy this and then open your Arduino IDE. I already have mine open and then just paste the setup and the loop. So the first thing you want to do is copy and paste that in here. And then what you can do is press verify. And if everything is good, it'll say done compiling. So basically, go into Touch Designer, open a new project, and then double click um, serial, serial dat. And you go in here and you'll see that there's a message. Oh, and what's wrong over here? Could not connect to the device. That does make sense. That does make sense. Oops, and then I'm sorry. So if it is done verifying and compiling, then press upload. Great, now we're good. No errors. It is that. So this script is now written into the Arduino. That's what it's going to do. It's just going to keep looping and sending this information out just on a loop forever with a delay just forever. And it's doing it right now, you just can't see it. So that's what we're going to set up here. So we're in Touch Designer. And it has, oh, could not connect to the device. That makes sense because we haven't set up the port yet. Um, so if we come over here, we have active, should be on. One per line, not one per byte, not one per message. One per line. And then go to the port. And then I know that mine's COM3, so I'm going to say COM3. Oh, and there you go. Here's all this information that is being sent from the Arduino to your computer via serial port COM1 or COM3. Um, make sure if it, if you don't see this again, make sure that it's one per line and a 9600 baud rate. And if you don't see it or you're not sure what the port you have come over to Arduino and on the bottom right here you can see where mine says on COM3 so make sure all of that is correct and then once you do that you should be able to see some uh, d data coming through the serial port you can turn active off turn back on yep and you start seeing you can see it coming in if you didn't have that delay on there I'm pretty sure you wouldn't be able to see new data coming in, it would just look constant. Cool, so now you've done it.
Um, you're now sending data from your Arduino to Touch Designer. Um, but in the next section, we're going to go the other way around. We're going to send data from Touch Designer to the Arduino. Okay?